Welcome to the dynamic world of a Praveen Kadam, where concrete dreams meet cutting-edge engineering. If you're passionate about the marvels of civil engineering, you've just stepped into the right arena. Hit that subscribe button, because we're about to embark on a journey that will redefine the way you see the world around. Hello. So today we are going to uh, see how to draw a pedestal in 3D using AutoCAD software. So firstly we will start the AutoCAD software then uh, do the primary settings like unit setting. Here we will see the we will use the decimal type precision is 0.00 unit is meters then decimal degree degree minute second degree minute and second clockwise international ok then limits 0 tab 0 enter then 100 I will choose 100 here because I am not doing so much large work then Z enter, A enter. Okay. The primary settings has been over. Then uh, for pedestal, I will draw one rectangle of anonymous sign. Uh, sorry. Okay. Then this will be the outer boundary of the of, of our first step. Then I will do the second rectangle this will be outer boundary of the second step of the pedestal and this will be my third step ok then have it look like in the section I will also show you or the elevation and you to here are my reference lines by which I will draw the elevation of the step or pedestal so I will choose randomly a 15 meters height for the pedestal This will be my first step. This will be my second step. And here I will choose a 15 meters height. So it will look like a one column as like my final diagram will look from the front side now I have to draw it in a tree so firstly I need to change the this workspace from drafting annotation to the 3D basics because I am doing just a simple task of 3D so I will choose here a 3D basics for 2D work we, we are using drafting and annotation for 3D we will use 3D basics by clicking on the 3D basics my workspace will be changed from drafting annotation to the 3D basics ok for my reference 
I will keep this original file original drawing as it is and I will make the copy of this drawing sorry uh, for this element for copy I will use CO enter so uh, here, here you can see that uh, we have changed the workspace from the 2D to 3D but we need to change the angle so from this view cube we can change the angle so I will click on the I will click on the corner of this view cube and we have now isometric view ok so then uh, for the simple task we are using here pressful command the pressful command by pressful command we can just press the element up or down so here you can see the diagram is uh, uplifted I can enter here the uh, spe specific which uh, specific height which I want to uh, by which I want to uplift the um, specimen or uh, to give the thickness ok but uh, I have problem uh, to see or visualize this object so I will change a 2d wireframe to shaded grey hence I will I will get a clear view of the 3d objects on and corners shades of grey ok then here you can see that we have a greater visual uh, visibility and uh, we can also imagine the object in reality so I will enter the 15 meters thickness which I have provided in the elevation for the second step this first step 15 meters and second second 15 meters then I will add total <coughs> 13 meters height and for the third step I need to change the view from the orbit command from the orbit command this is the orbit command orbit command I will I can change the view as like again I will press on the press pull command select or uh, select the uh, specific area which I want to press pull here I need to enter the thickness or the height for the object uh, by calculation we can directly enter the this is a 18 meters first 15 meters span second 15 meters and uh, original height of the column 15 meters sorry 50 meters so, this is an 18 I will up do the orbit command and here I can see our 3D drawing yeah, this is a simple 3D drawing is just using a pressful command in this video we have seen the use of pressful command how to use the pressful command and do the simple objects yes